Hi everybody, welcome back to another video. Today I have a really exciting unboxing for you. I literally just got home from thrifting and I was expecting this to come in the mail, which I'm so excited about. This is a new pen that I've been waiting for. And this was also here, which I was not expecting. This is a pen case. Um, I had mentioned in one of my previous videos that I was waiting for my Galen leather case to come in. However, I actually forgot about this one that I ordered directly from the company. I'm actually a big fan of Moterm pebbled leather. This is an A5 cover in taupe pebbled leather that I purchased for my Hobonichi cousin, and I have absolutely loved it. For the price you pay for Moterm, I think their packaging is beautiful, their quality is really nice. My um, business agenda is the Louis Vuitton GM and the monogram. I also have this in this personal size, which I don't really use at all. Um, the snap was broken when I purchased it and I got it for a really good price on Mercari and sent it to get a new snap, which cost $60, but I haven't really thought of a purpose yet for it. And then this one right here is my little baby. So I have these three sizes. So to me, I've spent a lot of money on those planners and I've considered getting a Giglio, but I went with the Moterm and I just wanted to see if I liked it and I absolutely love it. I bought a pen case in the very same color. So let's see how it looks. Their packaging is just so beautiful and classy. Look at that nice little bag it comes with. I have been putting my pens in here, but they, and I love this little pouch, but they hit one another. I actually moved some of my nicer pens to um, just a, a little single case that I have, but I'm going to move everything in here until the Galen leather arrives. Oh, I'm so excited for this. Let's see how it is. I haven't seen anybody with these pen cases um, on, on the internet. I mean, I'm sure people have them. Oh, look at how lovely. Oh my gosh, look at that together. I know I'm so boring, but I really love this. And I actually just ordered on Amazon the same Moterm pebbled leather, um, and I got black one. I really wanted black croc, but it's sold out everywhere. So I got a black pebbled leather for my Hobonichi Weeks, which is going to be a gratitude journal, which I will talk about in another video. But anyways, this is just gorgeous. Oh, I love it. This is perfect. And it has like a little pouch over here. So this would fit right here. That way I can use my pens when I'm on the road or if I just need to do a quick sample. This is also an additional pocket right here, which is so nice. This holds how many? One, two, three, four, five, six. I think this is great. And a little zip around here. So let's see how things will look in here. This is my Twisby. This is probably the biggest, so I'm gonna put this in the middle. This might be a little, all right, that doesn't like my Twisby. <laughs> We're not off to a very good start here. Okay, this may not be the case for Twisby because it kind of, it's too tall for the top. I wonder if the elastic has any give if I could get that in there, but I'm not gonna force it. I have a couple different cases, so it will just come down to what works best. Okay, the Lamy Safari, that's good. It's definitely like kind of a tight squeeze in there, but uh-oh, you guys, what am I gonna do? <laughs> Okay, well, go like this. Maybe this will just be for my Lamis and my Kavecos. No, it won't even fit this. You got, let me just see. It's gotta fit my Kaveco because that's so tiny. There we go. I think maybe just because it's brand new, it's having a hard time. Elastic is exceptionally sturdy, actually. So let's see. I think my Bordeaux is in here. I have pens everywhere right now. Oh, you know what I wanted to put away is this, um, this might be, this might be a good size. This is my class nib pen, which I paid, I think $25 for this on Amazon. And I saw it on somebody else's channel. I'm not sure who, but I loved it because it has a cover and it wasn't super long. I think a lot of, um, the glass nib pens are exceptionally long and they don't fit in a standard 
case and so I wanted this to fit which is great you know like if you look this is my Lamy Joy that's not going to fit I lost the cap to this which is very frustrating I think it's buried in my couch somewhere but yeah so I think we're gonna start with just these my Bordeaux is in the other room but this is beautiful I'm really happy with it and it zips around no problem and it's that beautiful soft pebbled leather that I love so much. It's got some gold hardware. It's a nice little compact size. And I like that I could carry, you know, a journal with me over here if I wanted to. If I took this out, I have this. I don't know if this is going to be too big or chunky. I don't know if that would actually close. I mean, it could. This is going to be my ink journal but that might be a little bit of a tight squeeze. I mean, it closes up and it loses some of its shape there. So maybe that's a little too chunky. I am so happy to have my pens separated. I can't even tell you. They've been clanking all over each other um, because I bought too many pens too quickly. Now, the moment I've been waiting for, I was anticipating doing this when I got home but I didn't think I was gonna get my um, my Moterm leather case. So I will leave links for everything. This is my third order from Goulet Pen Company. I am just, I have a problem. Okay, so here we go. This is, as I said in the title, this is my first Benu pen. And this is the Iced Caramel Latte, I believe is what it's called. Here's the packaging. Hey, let me just come in a little bit here. Oh, they just have this very classic white. Yes, iced caramel latte, and I got a medium nib. Um, so I've watched several videos on Benu, and people seem to really love this brand. Um, I don't know a lot about it, except they have these wildly over-the-top pens, and I loved this, and I'm gonna show you why I had this vision. So here's the case inside. I like the packaging, these blue ink cartridges. I wish they gave it a black one. Am I alone in thinking that? Here we go. Bum, bum, bum. This was $149 on Boulet pens, and this was just released last week. So this is my first impression for you. Let's get everything out of the way so we can just focus on this beauty here. I'm a little nervous. Ready? Look at how pretty. Look at how beautiful. Now, I know I'm weird. I know I get very excited about pens, but if you're watching this video, you might too. Okay, so there is the logo right here, Benu. And look at, it had just enough bling. I mean, some of their pens are like top to bottom blink, like the vodka on the rocks. I'm not opposed. I actually think that one is really cool. But I love all these warm tones. My nail polish color is not an accident, even though I didn't get it quite right. <laughs> but I was inspired. I'm like, I'm gonna do a little sparkle. I did silver sparkle, but isn't this just gorgeous? My only, only, it wasn't a hesitation, but my only wish, I kind of thought that it would be nice if this and this were gold. This is the Euphoria line. I'm sorry, I should have mentioned that earlier. This is from the Euphoria line. And um, this is just what they look like. And this, this little part of the clip goes up and it has like a little tiny indent inside there. Isn't this beautiful? I love the shape of it. It's really fun. And I just wanted to show you um, since I do have like these neutral things, like I think this looks really pretty and new with this neutral, but even with my Louis Vuitton, I feel like it complements with the gold and the creams and the browns. I had this vision of my iced caramel latte pen with this gorgeous bullet journal from Archer and Olive with the cup of coffee. This was what I had envisioned, which I think will work so well. I have done some drawings in here and I was just so excited about this pen. I've done some doodles. So this was what inspired me. Oh my gosh, this is beautiful. I'm so excited. 
They do not make their own nibs. This nib is by Schmidt. This is a resin pen. It's, it's pretty lightweight. It's actually lighter than I thought it was going to be, but I really love the size of it and it feels really nice in my hand. I love it. Okay, if we compare it also, since I did have my Twisby out, which I think is probably my largest pen that I own, um, it's bigger, much bigger than the Twisby. If you go like this, and then this is the um, Ferris Wheel Press carousel. Here it is next to the Lamy Safari. The Lamy Safari always likes to twirl on me. And then of course our Kaveco is the little baby nugget. So yeah, this definitely is larger than everything if I put them in order like this. So there's your comparison. It's a little twist off here, which is nice. And then capped. It's really chunky when it's capped, but it's beautiful. Oh my gosh, it's gorgeous. You know what though? The silver looks nice with this with the steel nib. This is just beautiful. It's really big when it's um, posted. You can see here. So I have the brilliant brown in my Twisby, and that would actually look really nice in the Banu, but that is not my plan. I can't remember the brand, but it's called Coco Shimmer, which is what I want to use. So you, these, these are similar when posted, just for you to see. We need to ink this up, don't we? Ah, is this it? Yes, Coco Shimmer. I thought this would be perfect in here, Coco Shimmer. And that's also why I got a medium nib was because I wanted to be able to have a, a, an ink with a shimmer in there. So that's the one. It's getting really dark out, so um, I apologize if um, the lighting isn't great here. Okay. So it should come with a converter, if I am not mistaken. Oh my gosh, I pray. There it is. Okay, perfect. And I'm just gonna twist down. I tested this already another day, so I, I knew that this was the color I wanted. I have a couple browns, but I love browns. This is perfect. It's not drawing anything up. Let's try that again. Oh, it's beautiful. It's absolutely beautiful, this color. One last try. Should I just be like loading it from here? And there, at least we got a little bit of ink. Moment of truth. Oh my gosh. This is so nice. Look at my hands. I am always such a mess. Banu. Wow. I cannot believe how nice this is. And this color is so nice. And then you can see a little bit. Oh, it's beautiful. And this is the... This might be the nicest pen I've ever written with. Diamine, cocoa, shimmer. Ooh, I love it so much. This is a medium nib. Absolutely gorgeous. I am in love with this. I've been waiting. My little coffee cup.
Wow, look at this combo right here. It just makes me so happy. It feels really nice. I can see that over time, it could get a little back heavy, so you could write with it either way. I just think it's so pretty that I want all of it. Although if you write with it like this, you get the gold shimmer, which is so pretty. Just to compare the thickness of this, we have medium nib, and then this is my Lamy Safari, and this is uh, extra fine. As so you can see the difference. And then this, I believe, is my Twisby, and this is fine. So if I compare this to my Sailor Pro Gear Slim, I don't even think there's a comparison. This writes so much smoother than that pen. 10 out of 10. Look at the swirl. I think this would also be gorgeous in a fine tip pen. I knew because this was such a blingy pen, I was going to want to use some sparkle ink. This just does not warrant plain ink. So that's why um, I went with the medium nib so that I could, you know, enjoy some fun colors in here. And then I feel like I could do like a gold in here, like a sparkly gold. I could do a caramel. I have this, you know, this cocoa shimmer that I'm using right now. I think that um, this color would look nice, which is the Pelican Brilliant Brown. Um, I think I'll have a lot of options with this. And this is the first pen that I saw and was like, I have to have that. And a little added bonus, this fits so nicely on the side of my journal. And I love that the gold foil kind of matches the gold in the pen. This is my one and only Benu pen. And yeah, I'm very excited about it. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you'd like to see more planner content and fountain pen content and all things stationary, pens, and paper. I love it all. Thank you guys so much for watching and make it a great day.